Let's talk about the difference between the Press 1.0, 1.5, and what we like best, the 2.0. The Press is an incredibly valuable exercise and everybody should do it. We like to teach the 2.0 version of it with the full hips forward to generate the bounce out of the bottom, which you commonly see taught by starting strength coaches. There will, however, be some individual variations in the way people execute this lift, and I'm gonna go over the three different kinds that you'll see. The second kind of press that we teach in here is the press 1.0 or the strict press. Now this is actually what we'll teach at the start of the press progression before we teach lifters how to use the hips. Now there's a couple reasons why we like the strict press. Sometimes we have lifters in here who are unable to coordinate the use of the hips to generate the bounce. When this occurs, I would much rather than press strict and get the benefits of pressing than struggling with getting the hips and getting frustrated with the lift. This is rare, but it does occur. Secondly, as press frequency goes forward in your program and you begin to press more often, a lot of coaches like to program strict presses for volume work to really nail down that bar path. When you don't have the added benefit of the hips out of the bottom to generate that first part, the bar path becomes much more sensitive and you can really feel it when you're pressing strict. So what that looks like is going to be our regular grip, everything remains the same, each rep starts at the bottom, big breath, shrug to the top and set it down. We are omitting the hips and the bounce. So it's gonna be a big breath, tight abs, tight quads, shrug to the top, set it. Big breath, shrug to the top and set it. We're trying to keep this press as strict as we can to really, really nail down the bar path here. It's a useful variation, especially when we're using volume work or with lifters who are unable to do it otherwise. The third type of press that we can use is something that we like to call the press 1.5. And the difference between this and the strict and the full press that we use is that after the first rep, each rep then starts from the top with the rebound out of the bottom. Now I've done it both ways. I've pressed with the hips forward and the bounce, and I've also experimented with the 1.5 rebound at the bottom. I'm equally bad at both, so I don't really have a preference. Now the reason we might use the 1.5 press is because some coaches have noticed with their lifters and while lifting themselves, that the time between the reps with the bar and hands can cut into some of their strength. And to minimize, minimize that, what they're gonna do is instead of stopping at the bottom, they're gonna finish the first rep, take a breath at the top, and now generate a bounce out of the bottom, much like you would in a bench press. Now the benefit of doing it this way is that the sets don't take quite as long because you're not resetting after every rep. The harder part about doing this is that the bar path, because you're not starting from the beginning every time, becomes a little bit more sensitive and it's harder to control. Like I said, I've done it both ways. I suck at both. This is how the 1.5 would look. We're gonna unrack it as usual. Two steps back. Now the start is exactly like the 1.5. Hips, press. Now the difference, instead of setting it down at the bottom, once the bar is at the top in the shrug, here we'll take a breath, we'll re-squeeze the abs, we'll bring it down by the nose, and press to the top. And there's two ways you can go about the rebound at the bottom. You can either just get your head out of the way and bounce, or on the way down, you can actually push your hips forward as you would in a regular press, and generate the same kind of a bounce. Either way, the most important thing is that the lifters are pressing. So it really comes down to what works best for you after you've been pressing for long enough to make those decisions on your own.